everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Talia here. Um, I'm going to show you part two of my haul video and part two is going to consist of some products that I bought when I went to Calgary and did some nail supply shopping in person. So this isn't any of the online purchases I have. These are all from suppliers in Calgary. Um, all of the supply shops that I went to in Calgary are professional supply centers. So you have to make sure that you're an accredited nail professional in order to shop there. I'm going to post in the description box below of this video, part one to this video. So if you haven't seen that yet, just make sure you go and check that out as well. And let's get started. The first place that I went to is called Alberta Beauty Systems and they carry um, the files and the buffers that I use and I'm not going to show you them in this video because they're actually super boring but um, they sell them for pretty inexpensive and because I don't reuse files or buffers on any of my clients I don't want to spend a lot of money on them so um, I mean they're they're really good for like one-time use so I just I just throw them out after I don't have to worry about like contaminating them or anything they're just one-time use um, so I'm not going to show you those in this video but it's a really good place to get like inexpensive files and buffers from what I am going to show you that I bought from them, which I'm kind of excited about, is the OPI Avo Juices. Okay, like seriously, look at this giant bottle. Um, OPI recently, for the Avo Juices, changed their packaging. So this is like another one, and this is the size that I used to use. I'm just going to back up here to show you. So this is the size that I've always used, and that I noticed at Alberta Beauty Systems that they had like these giant size ones. And I use these lotions at the end of my service for all of my clients. They get like a little bit of cuticle oil and then they get um, lotion on their hands so they smell pretty and are all soft and all ready to go. Um, so I got two of these giant bottles there because I've never seen them this big before. So this will last me forever. So I got this one in Violet Orchid, which I'm hoping is just like a really pretty kind of floral scent. And then I got another one called Peony and Poppy. So these will last me forever. I'm really excited about these. So I just wanted to share that with you. And then in addition to the files and the buffers that I got there, I think that was all that I got from Alberta Beauty Systems. Yeah, I kind of just get my basic stuff from there. So that's all I got from Alberta Beauty Systems. And then I went over to DK Beauty. Um, DK Beauty carries a bunch of different brands. Specifically, they are known for Accents and Nubar. I get whatever products I need from Accents or Nubar there. So I'm just going to show you what I picked up. I didn't need too many things, but I just needed a couple of things from them. So at DK Beauty System, like I said, they sell accents there. And I don't use any products really from accents anymore. I, I was certified and trained on accents. I don't use their gels anymore, but um, one product that I love from them is their paint on white. I absolutely love the accents paint on white. So this is just what the packaging looks like here. And it's just like a, a bright paint on white. It's the the brightest best white that I've found, but you have to use it in a thin visco or a thin consistency. You can't use it very thick, but I use this a lot for nail art as well as just like if somebody wants like a, a bright white French tip. Um, it's my favorite bright white and so I just, this is just what I use and will continue to use until I find something that I like better, but I always uh, buy one of these whenever I'm at DK Beauty. They also sell a lot of like the Erica e-file accessories and like the Erica e-files so whenever I'm there if I need something from Erica's I will pick them up so I needed um, the Erica's cuticle skiver or skiver I'm not exactly sure how you say that but anyway and it's just like a medium grit and I use this for going around my clients cuticles um, when I'm prepping their nails and I find that one of these lasts me like probably about two to three months but once I can tell that it's not really doing its job anymore then I'll, I'll get a new one so I got one of those and I should say, like, I, I mean, I have I have a new one already, but I always like to keep a backup of this. You, I don't know, if you guys are kind of getting the drift here, I like to have backups of everything. I hate running out of stuff. So um, anyway, I have a backup of one of these now. Um, okay, this is super boring, but I just got like a, a plastic container. I'm going to fill this with 99% isoprofenol alcohol. And then I know you guys have seen or heard like those Sharpie nail tutorials and stuff that are out there. Um, I was thinking it would be kind of cool to fill this up and then instead of like using a brush on the nails when you have like the Sharpies or the alcohol inks, I'm thinking it'd be kind of cool to like spray it and see kind of the effect that it happens. So I, I needed a spray bottle to do that. So I saw that DK Beauty had them. Okay, and the last thing that I picked up from DK Beauty were a bunch of brushes. So they had like these accents, um, gel art brushes. And I don't really have any brushes that are specifically designed to use for art with gel. I have like a bunch of painting brushes and stuff, which I'm, I'm guessing you probably could use with gel, but I wanted to get something that was specific 
for gel so I can do some more art with gel instead of with like paints. I just kind of wanted to, I have some ideas in my mind and I just wanted to get some brushes for it. So I got the Art One brush. Okay, and so they had like the nice little cap on it and then I'm just gonna show you like what the tip of that looks like. So it's a pretty, pretty thin tip. I think I can do some fun art with that. They had, I think they had about, ooh, I wanna say like six nail art brushes for gel and I, I ended up getting three of them. So the next one I got is the Art 6 brush. That's what the tip looks like. So it's just like a really fine, like, pointed tip brush. If I remember correctly. Yeah, actually, this is the one that they recommend for doing 3D with gel. So I, I wanted to pick up a brush that, that would have, like, a really fine tip at the, at the end to kind of do, like, the points and the, the precision and the, the right nail art there. So I picked up that one. This was the most expensive brush out of all of them, so got that one and the last brush I got is the art 2 brush so you can see here that it's similar to the art 1 but just a little bit of a longer stripe on it so I thought this would be good for for doing I guess like little stripes or anything so really excited to use all three of these brushes I have some fun plans for them and it's nice that they have like a little cap and I like that I don't have any brushes that are like this like the kind of rose gold finish because then it you know in my mind I'll definitely be like okay these are for my gel art they're not for painting do not use them for painting or nail polish so that's really good while I was there DK Beauty sells these zebra sanding bands as well and I had have, have a fear of running out of them so I love these so much and have a huge fear of running out of them so I ended up picking up two more from them so I will be good on my zebra sanding bands for a really long time so the last store that I went to in Calgary for my nail supply shopping trip was the Beauty Depot. Um, the Beauty Depot is specifically known for carrying LCN products as well as they carry a lot of makeup and they carry like China Glaze and they carry some other brands there but they're mostly if I'm going to get LCN stuff I get them from the Beauty Depot so let me show you what I got from there. Okay so uh, the first thing that I want to show you is the new LCN collection. Um, so it's called Under the Sea and then like these are the colors here. Now I'm not going to open this up in here because I'm, I have a separate video for the LCN collection. Um, so I'll post that into the description box below if you're interested in seeing like up close colors of, of what these look like. So be sure to check that out. But I picked up the, the collection there. Uh, another thing that I picked up was China Glaze came out with like their gel polish line. And this color specifically, it's called for Audrey, is one of my most favorite nail polish colors that I use for like my toes and so I wanted to get it in like the gel polish format and I have to say I absolutely love the China Glaze packaging for these I don't know why but it makes me just like want to buy them and use them I don't know so anyway I'm gonna just open it up here and show you what it looks like so it's just a really pretty kind of like Tiffany blue color and a color that's very similar to this is Accents Luxio gel polish in Tiffany. It's very similar to this one, but this one is just a tad brighter So I'm happy that I picked that one up. I think uh, I'll get some good use out of that The other two products that I got from the Beauty Depot were my favorite gel brushes of life until I find something else Which I I don't know if it's gonna happen, but they are the LCN I forget what these are called I believe they're called the LCN Pro Tech NA1 brushes just make sure that if, if this is what you're looking for, that you're getting the ones with like a really small tip on the end. LCN makes two different brushes like these. Um, they, I can't remember the, the other name of the other one, but it just has a way bigger like head on it, a brush head on it. And that is not the one I like. I have had that one, do not like it, it's too big. I'm just gonna show you up close here. This is what the brush head looks like. It is so fine and pointed and precision and wonderful. I absolutely love these brushes for my everyday gel use. Um, I've used these brushes for years. Okay, I'm going to show you in comparison to like another brand that I have. This is an INM Integrity Pro Gel Brush and this is just what it is like compared to it. So this one over here is the INM, this is the LCN. So the LCN is just like a way finer tip and I find that traditionally these brush heads are what most companies come out with, like the kind of bigger brush heads and I like the more precision point of the LCN ones. So anyway, <laughs> Picked up two of those. Um, again, I like to have backups of them. I always have one for my everyday gels, and then when this brush becomes worn out, it becomes my color gel or glitter gel brush. So I'm constantly rotating through my brushes, and I always label them at the end. So this one is just my old one. Like you can tell that it's starting to get kind of fried there 
fray it up at the top there. So this will soon become a color gel or a glitter gel brush. And I just label the ends with nail polish so that I can distinguish between what brush is what. So this brush will soon become either a color gel or a glitter gel brush depending on its which one I need. And then this one I'm gonna label and this will be my new gel brush. And that's just kind of how I rotate through them. So I always have a bunch of these as backups just in case, and I just needed to get a couple more of them. Then the last thing that I got from the Beauty Depot were these like little spatula things. And I know the Beauty Depot offers a bunch of like skin treatments and, and skin programs, I guess. And so I'm pretty sure that they use these for that. But what I use these for is scraping out of the bottom of gel. Um, either like my big gel pots or my color gel or my glitter gel, I use these little ends here for scraping out of the bottom of them. So I just wanted to pick up two more of those because I, I completely ran out of these. So thank you for watching part two of my nail supply haul video. Um, again, I'm gonna post all the links in the description box below for where I got them from and, and what I got from each store. So if you haven't shopped at any of these supply centers, just make sure that you send them your certificate and hopefully you're able to shop there. These, um, all the companies that I shared with you today are my favorite supply centers from Calgary that I go to all the time. Um, I, th I know there's more in Calgary, but I just, these are the ones that I always kind of gravitate towards. So maybe, maybe at some point I'll be able to try some new ones. I know there's a couple others in Calgary, but um, these are like my most favorite and what I um, get from each, each one. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. I plan to post videos like every week, so make sure you stay up to date with those. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All the information needed for this video will be posted on the description box below on my YouTube channel for this video. So be sure to check there if you have any questions. Um, comment below this video and let me know some of your favorite supply centers that you shop at. Um, let me know if there's anything that I'm missing in Calgary. Um, or even in Edmonton. I have a future plan to Edmonton this year and I'd like to know or even like even if you're in like BC or the States like just let me know where you guys shop like I'm always interested in finding new supply centers um, to shop from so that would be awesome. Thanks for watching!